get the fuck up. Welcome back to the herd. You're watching Tech Decipher. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So today we are going to see how we can bypass safety net check in almost every custom ROM. And yes, this is an universal method. You can apply it in any Android with any custom ROM. So before we start, let's understand what is safety net. Safety net is basically a Google security protection feature for Android devices. So you must be wondering how the safety net feature affects your Android device. So before we start, let me tell you that this method is a bypass method. So yes, your phone must be rooted to apply this method. Okay, so that's it. Back to the question: How the safety Safety net affects our Android device well. For that, you have to must check whether your device passes your safety net profiles or not. To check that, if your device is rooted and you have Magisk Manager, just open the Magisk Manager and click on Tap Start Safety Net Check. Just click on it and it will reveal the status of your safety net profile. As you can see, my both profiles are false. CTS profile false and basic integrity is also false, which means my device is not certified and my device does not pass the safety net check. Safety net check is basically a type of firewall which breaks if you install a custom ROM in an any Android or if you root your device. The profiles of safety net also implies one more thing: if your both profiles are false, which means your device is not certified. If your both profiles are true, then and yes, your device is Google certified. If some of you are wondering what the hell is Google certification, Google is your best friend. And next, let me show you a demo what this Google certification looks like. Well, if your both safety net profiles are false, which means your device is not certified, if you open the Play Store and search for Netflix application, as you can see, the official application is not available to download, as it is because my device is not certified. So if your device is certified, you can search and download applications like Netflix. So modifying your Android device with custom ROM or routing the device hampers device certification. So if your device is safety net profile file is false it can create some problems like you won't be able to use banking apps and other related apps like UPI including Google Pay. Okay so hope you got a better view about what is safety net so let's begin our today's video. So as I have already mentioned before your phone must be rooted to apply this method. Okay let's begin the procedure so first what you have to do is open your magic manager application then click on left three lines as you can see the left top left corner click on them and then go to settings and then scroll down here you can see a option called magic guide you just have to turn it on click back close the application again open it and then again go to settings here you will see another option called hide magic manager you just have to click on it next you have to type a name you have to type a random name whatever you may like so in case of me i'll be typing xbox for absolutely no reason and then type a random name and click ok after clicking OK, it will create another package application with the same name which you have typed in the name field. So it will create another application as you can see I have typed Xbox and here you can see the Magic Manager is renamed as Xbox. You have to again just open it and it will ask for a prompt to upgrade the full Magic Manager application. Then you have to just click on OK and it will download the complete package application and it will install it on your phone automatically. Let's wait until it's done. Okay, so after it's done, it will reopen the Magisk Manager again. And what you have to do it next, you just have to go again to the top left corner, just three lines and again go to Downloads. Here you have to search for a module called Magisk Hide Props. Just search for it, search P-R-O-P-S. Type your props and you can see this is the module which you have to install it. Magisk Hide Props, you just have to click on Download and click on Install. It will take few seconds to install it. Once the installation is done, you will need one more file, just go back again to download section and search for busybox, B-U-S-Y-B-O-X, just search for this module, download it and install it. Once the installation completes, you just have to reboot your device once, just restart it. Okay, once the device boots up, you just have to head back to Magisk Manager and go to module section as you can see our both modules are installed and activated properly next what you have to do is go to play store and download an application called terminal emulator you have to download this application this is just 237 kb almost and you have to just install it okay after you have installed the application you just have to open it and you will see the interface something like this and what you have to do is next you have to type in your keyboard p r o p s type p r o p s and hit enter on your keyboard after hitting enter it will 
ask for root privileges you just have to grant it. After hitting the command prompts you will see some plenty of options like this as you can see there are plenty of options to choose from. The option which you have to choose is, is the number one option the edit device fingerprint option. As you can see edit device fingerprint option is number one you just have to type number one and hit enter on your keyboard just type number one and hit enter. Ok so the next option which you have to choose is pick a certified fingerprint. So the serial number is F so you have to type here F and hit enter on the keyboard. And next screen what you will see a 30 list of mobile devices company. From this list you have to choose the mobile device brand which you are using. As I am using Xiaomi Poco F1 so I have to choose Xiaomi. As you can see the list and the name of Xiaomi comes at 28. The serial number is 28. You just have to go here and type the serial number of your phone company. As my phone's company is Xiaomi. The serial number is 28. So you just have to type here 28 and hit enter on the keyboard again. Next you will see another list of Xiaomi various models here so yes in the next screen you will get a number of options from which you have to choose your or your preferred devices model so i guess you have probably already got an idea what to do next yes you have to choose your phone's device model so my phone is xiaomi poco f1 i have to search from here xiaomi poco f1 as you can see the xiaomi poco f1 comes at number 33 the serial number is 33 so i have to type here xiaomi poco f1 with serial number 33 so you just have to type 33 hit the enter on your keyboard again in the next screen what you have to choose is android version of your android phone so if your custom rom is running on android 9 then you have to choose option 1 if your android device or the custom rom is running on android 10 then you have to choose option 2 so in my case my custom rom is running on android 10 version and is based on android 10 so i have to type serial number 2 so you just have to type here 2 and hit enter on your keyboard again and it will ask for are you sure this is correct before continuing so make sure all the changes which we have done is correct and just you have to type yes for yes you have to just type Y the first letter of yes and hit enter on your keyboard again. Okay so at last what you have to do is you just have to reboot your phone to make the changes permanent and next the last option what you will get here do you want to reboot now. So your phone must be rebooted to make the changes permanent so yes you just have to reboot your device you just have to type Y and hit enter on your keyboard again it will reboot your device automatically. Okay, once your device boots up, you just have to unlock it and head back to Magisk Manager Op And next what you have to do is click on Safe Net Check again. Okay, congratulations, as you can see the both SafeNet profiles are not true, which means we have successfully bypassed the Google SafeNet check. And yes, your device is verified now. Let me show you, again head back to Play Store and let's check for Netflix application again. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the Netflix profile is available to download. You can download it, install it, open it, play it, try fry it or fry it. It's completely your choice. The availability of Netflix application in Play Store implies that your Android device is certified now. Next, what to do if your Netflix application still doesn't show up in your Play Store? So if your Netflix application is still invisible in your Play Store, what you have to do is go back from here, hold the Play Store application and click on App Info. Just you have to go to App Information and go to storage and cache and you just have to clear the data of play store after clearing data you have to just go back and open the play store again and this time jesus will definitely show mercy on you just search for netflix as you can see the netflix application is available to download from play store and the last thing which you must know is if you're still facing any kind of errors while using banking apps or the upi apps then what you have to do is go to your magic manager again and then head back to magic hide option okay then you have to click every application every banking application whichever you may use you just have to check on it as you can see i use google pay i have to just check on it and it will automatically hide the root detector terminals and make sure you have to check all the subcategory options regarding the application as you can see all the options regarding google pay is now checked okay that's it it's done now thank you so much for watching okay so if my video helped you then do consider giving it a thumbs up and please give it a thumbs up to the video and if you want to support me then do subscribe the channel it helps me a lot until next time see you in the next video take care goodbye